Even elephants hiccup. Do not do wrong to a person to pay him back for doing wrong to you. Or do not insult someone to pay him back for insulting you. But ask God to bless that person. Do this because you yourselves were called to receive a blessing. 1 Peter 3, 9. It's true, even elephants hiccup. So do dogs, lions, and porcupines that could get prickly. Actually, all mammals hiccup, but people do it more often than animals, and babies do it most of all. They hiccup be before they're born. Hiccups happen when the muscle under your lungs, the diaphragm, jerks suddenly at the same time your vocal cords snap shut, which is what gives the hiccup its well hiccuping sound. Hiccups can happen if you laugh too hard, eat too quickly, or drink a fuzzy drink. But hiccups can also be mysterious with no certain cause. Hiccups can be annoying and occasionally painful, and there's no surefire cure for them. Tricks like holding your breath, eating a spoonful of peanut butter, or breathing into a bag might work, or they might not. Hiccups are just one of those things you can't control. Like people, you can't control them either. That means sometimes people won't be nice to you. They might annoy you, so say terrible things to you or even bully you. But God doesn't want you to pay back one wrong with another wrong. If someone hurts you, don't hurt them back. Be kind. Pray for that person. Ask for a grown-up's help. And remember, you may not be able to control others or your hiccups, but you can control your actions. Lord, when others are unkind or even mean, help me to remember Jesus and how he loved everyone, even those who hated him. Then help me to show the same kind of love and kindness to others. How great. Most hiccups last only a few minutes, but Charles Osborne had a case of the hiccups that lasted from 1922 to 1990. That's 68 years of hiccups. He hiccuped between 20 and 40 times every minute. Doctors estimate he hiccuped more than 430 million times in his life. Thanks for coming by today. Have a great day.